trying to think of the most, the, the number one question I get via email. It's one of the top, I would say at least five, maybe three. It's Seth, I'm coming to visit Denver. Where do I go run? Oh, Waterton Canyon. That's where I'm at right now. I rarely come here just because I'm a mountain guy, but this is a great, great place to run. Waterton Canyon, it's a dirt road. It's closed to traffic, except for local traffic. Hardly any cars, lots of runners up here. It's awesome. Waterton Canyon. and we're on hold. I'm trying to book my flight to Amsterdam. I've been on hold for about an hour. Oh my goodness, what a world. So if I have to run, if I have to pause this review of the Brooks Ghost 14 GTX, you will know why. So anyway, let's just set this down. I'm gonna keep monitor. I don't wanna lose my place in line, if you know what I mean. The relegation window, all right, but put, bring it out, it's time. Oh, not because I don't like the shoe, or I don't love the shoe, but just because it is GTX, and here in Colorado, it's, even though I did take it out in some pretty good snow, a little bit of slush, we just don't get that much rain. That is why it is getting the relegation whistle. That's the only reason, okay? I just want to be very clear and upfront about that right now. And in case you're new to the channel, the relegation, what does that mean? It's like, Shout out to European soccer, the clubs at the, the last two clubs right at the bottom of the table. Those two clubs get relegated to the lower division, the lower league below the, like the Premier League goes to the Champions League, right? I'm not trying to learn my, learn my lingo here. Okay, Brooks goes 14 GTX, a 12 millimeter drop. Oh my goodness, 36 in the heel. 24 in the forefoot. That is aggressive. 12, okay? Just remember that number. Let's do the twist test. Kinda. Not really, actually. Not twisting as much as I was hoping. And uh, just a side note, Brooks goes 13. I enjoyed last year, okay? So there we go. Uh, women's size 8, men's size 9 on your screen. Let's put it on and remember, and you know what? There's the Brooks Ghost 14. Here it is, which I have not quite tested yet as of this recording. So I'm curious to see if there's a significant weight difference. I'm guessing there's not gonna be a huge one. In my size for the GTX, 9.5 ounces, okay? And the regular Brooks Ghost 14 is 8.8. More than expected, actually. Very interesting. So I'll be testing the Brooks Ghost 14 very, very soon. And again, Brooks Ghost 13, I'll try to remember to link to it down below in the description. If I don't, just go to the homepage of the YouTube channel, okay? There's the search feature on the homepage. Very powerful tool there. Type in anything you want. Eat. You know, people always ask me, Seth, what do you eat in a day? Boom, type in eat and you'll find what I eat in a day. Type in uh, warm up and you'll find my warm up routine. Type in anything under the sun and it'll probably be there after over 2200 videos on this YouTube channel. Okay, Brooks Goes 14 GTX upper engineered mesh with a Gore-Tex liner. And again, 
It's not a lot of rain here. If you do take this shoe into rainy conditions, please email me, let me know what you think of it. But I, my feet stayed completely dry in the snow and a little bit of slush, okay? So I was actually, I was pleased. My feet were not soaked at all after the testing out there in these winter conditions. Now I will say the, uh, the mesh is simple. It's not jumping out at me. Yeah, and a fully gusseted tongue, which is to be expected with Gore-Tex. Um, it's a simple upper. It's not, you know, I was yearning for maybe a little more padding on the tongue. And let's test the heel counter. It is, it's stout. It's strong, okay? So that heel pocket was solid. I, I did had no slipping through the heel at all. What else on the upper? Simple laces. I know it's a small detail, but you know, how the laces react to the eyelet chain is actually very important, okay? Midsole DNA Loft Foam Midsole, which is a finely calibrated mix of EVA foam, rubber, and air. And you know what I think of when I stick my thumbs? Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Hold on, where is it? Is it in my pocket? Yes, it is in my pocket. In my pocket, the sure C Durander. Let's let's see here. And somebody, you know, lovingly questioned in the last running shoe review, Seth, what is the point of these numbers? Um, and basically nothing at this point. So this is the durometer score. I'm getting a 48, okay, a 49. So the purpose of these numbers is probably nothing to you at this point. Uh, but eventually, if you watch consistently, these numbers will begin to mean something. For example, I'll just go extreme here. If this is a 49, the Rebel, for the durometer score, the, the firmness scale of the midsole, the Rebel V2 is 28, okay? So if you're familiar with these shoes and you're really passionate about running shoes and finding the right midsole material for you, they, it will eventually mean more and more and more, these numbers. But you gotta watch consistently is all I'm saying, everyone. So here we go. For, we're gonna go with 48 for the Brooks Ghost 14 GTX. Let me just do one more measurement here. And there is my ride and energy return. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy, all right? And actually, just for fun, hold on. I know this is geeking out a little bit here. Yeah, for, okay, so obviously, uh, just wanted to make sure we weren't totally off. Yeah, 48 for the regular Brooks Ghost 14. Um, it's dense, okay? If you think of a, a midsole in your, in your archive that you've tested yourself, a dense midsole that just feels kind of dense underfoot, not heavy, but dense, that's what I'm feeling with the Brooks Goes 14, which I'll come back to that in a minute with respect to the durability prediction. All right, outsole, blown rubber, love it. There's a lot, which would probably drop the score, right? Uh-uh. So one of the reasons I don't love a ton of rubber on the outsole is because I think Brooks is one of the best blown rubbers in the business. And what is blown rubber versus just regular rubber? Blown rubber is usually just a little bit lighter and a little more forgiving. A little more, if you stick your thumb into it or any finger into it, it'll give. And that is the case, just like in the Brooks Ghost 13 actually, which I think is actually sitting right there. Should I grab it? Why not? Come on, this is live television, live YouTube, everyone. There it is, oh, love it. So there's, oh man, and not to mention the flex grooves, okay? Love those flex grooves on the outsole. Great job there, Brooks. It's just, um, it's gonna increase the durability of this lineup so, so much. Fit, true to size, okay, no issues. Um, yeah, no issues. I'm not even gonna say, yeah, midfoot, toe box, fine. I would even say a, a smidge of extra room in the toe box. You know, I didn't feel scrunched at all through that toe box comfort score standard you know just standard getting the job done nothing to write home about i'm going with the outsole for that positive blown rubber and durability okay and a little more plush through the tongue i think would just make this shoe i know it bumped the weight up a little bit but i think if the tongue had a little more cushion to it especially near the top of the eyelet chain i think you could just lock down just a little bit better with that runners not okay there you go durability 600 plus there you go 600 plus oh man it's uh mostly because of that outsole and oh yeah the density i think who's the shoe best for a big strong runner i think this shoe could be a workhorse for you in 2022 whether 
it's the Brooks Ghost 14 or the GTX, okay? That's actually a pretty solid uh, weight for the Brooks Ghost 14 regular, eight, what was it, 8.7, uh, considering the density and the, the build quality of the outsole. So I really do think if you want a workhorse, just put, if you don't, if you don't want to buy a shoe every two months or three months, you just want to buy one shoe for five, maybe even six months, boom, I would really strongly consider, did I mention it's a neutral road shoe? And all right, it's not a stability, it's stability shoe, just so we're on the same page, okay? Um, and it would be a daily trainer for me, not a, you know, not a tempo day, not a long run shoe, just not even an easy day. You can, of course, you can use it for an easy day, but a, just a classic daily trainer coming in at $160. Now, the reason it's that high is the Gore-Tex. And mm, I get it. I get it. I think you just have to ask yourself, and this is where the scoring system come in, comes in, how important is Gore-Tex to you? Okay, where do you live? What kind of conditions do you run in on a regular basis for that $160? price point okay so it is a six out of ten for me um if i lived in seattle which is where uh brooks designed the shoe and i don't know where they uh yeah i have to believe that's where their headquarters are at is seattle washington um obviously that's critical in seattle washington where they get a lot of rain other shoes to buy peg 38 shield of course and the asics gel cumulus 23 gtx all right putting those two into the similar category it actually I'm actually, that Pegasus lineup is kind of a workhorse to a certain extent as well. So yeah, I'm putting the Ghost, the ghost lineup in that same vein of daily trainer. Shoe quick specs for the Brooks Ghost 14 GTX. All right, soak it in. Uh, there's the 36 and 24. Just keep that in mind. That's a pretty, that's a big, that's a big drop. Very big drop. Uh, engineered mesh with a Gore-Tex liner. Again, it worked for me in the snow and the slush. And then that DNA loft midsole foam relegation score we haven't had a relegation score in a while 7.15 out of 10 the only reason is because i just don't live in seattle all right i don't there's no reason for me to take this shoe to 50 miles especially shh, the brooks ghost 14 is coming down the pike very very quickly for testing but so it's that you know it's that uh, it's just that question maybe i'll do a, a water test when i do this brooks ghost 14 for all of you just to see how well, what's the difference between this guy and this guy. Sound good, everybody? Comment of the day, question of the day. Here we go, hodgepodge journeys. You get the comment of the day. I've been running in the Brooks Ghost for, for years. This is being pulled from the Ghost 13 full review and never really noticed the drop. I also use it for tempo and speed work. That's amazing. And mid distance in long runs and trails. It's my all around go-to shoe, but I also don't run hundred miles a week and I am not a super speedy runner. Hodgepodge journeys. Thanks for sharing. And I, again, I think it's like he said, it's a workhorse. It just could get a lot of a lot of miles under step for you in 2022, okay? What was the best book or series that you've ever read? That is the question of the day. What is the best book or book series that you have ever read? I don't know where I came up with that. I know I've asked about books in the past, but I don't know if I've ever asked, what is the best book? Oh, that's a hard one. Ooh, that's a, especially if you're an avid reader out there. Thanks for tuning in. We are gonna toss it to uh, the Ghost 13, of course. Brooks goes 13 full review right there right there from about one year ago I'll be here I don't know what the score was I think it was higher Brooks goes 13 final score I'm not sure though but anyway right there right there right there all right see beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow